Hello friends, welcome again. And this is Manipulate Grocery Shop Management System. And uh, I have developed this project in Python, Django, and MySQL. The version for the Python I'm using is the Python version 3, and the Django version is 2, and the MySQL version is 5.6. For connecting the MySQL with Python and Django, I'm using the Python MySQL connector, which you'll get easily from the MySQL.org website. Even you can install using the pip, right? So for front-end development, I am using the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Some of the jQuery library also have used, like calendar integration, form validations, and creating drop-down menus. I am using the jQuery plugins. Right. So let's start with the functionality. Go through. So the project title is Grocery Shop Management System, and it's a mini project, mini web-based Python, Django, and MySQL DBMS project. Right. So mini web based because it has it will run over the browser. That's why it's a web based project. Right? So the project title is grocery shop management system. This is the home page of the project. You can see this is a very simple home page. And if you want to change the content of the home page, you can change directly from uh, HTML page. There is nothing dynamic on this page because this is the normally shop management system type of things. Right. This is about. So this is the about page and uh, this is also a static page and uh, if you want to change the content then you can change directly from the html page this is a contact us page and i am not sending any type of email and sms from this page you can treat it as a static page even i am not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database right this is a login from where you will be able to log in and perform certain operations right so let me log in so this is the the user id is admin and password test once you log inside the system you will get the dashboard so this is the admin dashboard where admin can perform these operations admin can add the product admin can see the product details admin can add the sales admin can see the sales details right admin can change the password and log out so these operations admin can perform the this menu is also available in the header part so let me go through one by one this is the add product from this page admin will be able to add the product and those products will be saved into the database and will be available in a drop down at the time of sales right right i will show you this is the product details all the product which you have added into the database will be displayed here right so there are eight products which has been added into database is displaying here if you uh, want to add more then you can add any number of products from here and if you want to delete any product then you can delete it also from here edit it delete it right this is a cells this is a add cells this is a cells dashboard from where you will be able to make your duck cells right so let me show you so this is a, and customer contact number and add So once you start on the, once you click on the ad, then you will get the sales dashboard from where you will be able to select the product. So you can select the product from here, right? So you can see the products are getting added into the cart, right? And you can add any number of uh, product here, right? You can see the products are getting added, right? So these products are getting added and total amount is calculating automatically according to the price which you have which you had entered at the time of add product right so this amount has been calculated and total amount the customer needs to pay is 510 no, 40 rupees right so once you click on the save order the whole page will be saved into the database the whole page will be saved into the database and you will get it at the time of checking the sales history page right so click once you click on the save order then the whole page will be saved into database and you can see the order id has been generated and it's a seven and that full details are rendering here right so the full details are rendering here and you can print it also once you click on the print that page will be will open into the printable format and you can print it through the printer which has been attached to your laptop or desktop right so this is the ad cells this is sales details all of the sales which has been made by you will be displayed here you can see this is the last sale which i had made and once you click on the view order then you will be able to see the details of the that order right this is a change password from where you will be able to update your account password and using that password you will be able to uh, log in again right 
this is a logout once you click on the logout then the session will be destroyed permanently and you will not be able to access the internal page without login right let me show you so once you click on the logout then you can see the above menu is administration menu is not displaying but if you log inside then above administration menu is displaying right so like this right so this is all of the functionality which i developed in this project grocery shop management system and uh, if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment and i will incorporate those changes i will make this project more better and better according to my requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much